Hey, welcome back. We've got a few things left to do to wrap today up. I want to get today done and over with. First and foremost, I think I finally figured out how to process these logs and what we're going to do with them. So the larger logs, these ends here that I've cut off, we're going to chop into two and a half meter chunks and store over here. And uh, I made this. These come uh, under tools. There's a mod that you can get. Wooden support is what it's called. I don't know what the mod itself is. But it's an individual one. Or you can get two, but the two are much wider than what we needed. So I just put in individual wooden supports there to hold our log pile. And so we're going to build a log pile over here. And then uh, the tops we're going to cut off into sections that we can carry, strap to the trailer and sell. We also have the grass that's in here, which let me unfold that because that looks kind of funny. But it's folded already. Okay. Well, it's just going to look goofy till we empty it, I guess. Heaps of grass. Uh, I went ahead and cleared this off. So this is ready to plant because that's the last thing I want to do. I want to stack our wood, sell our wood and grass, get a cedar, and get grass grown in this field so that I think after next month we'll be able to harvest the field over there, which believe so right let's see i think we could harvest it now if we wanted to but uh, yeah we're three out of three forage which means it'll be um at full harvest next month so when we mow this that'll go back to growth stage one i believe which will be what that'll be when it sprouts next month and so then they'll be in sync so yay that would be awesome if they're in sync if not either way doesn't matter we could do one and then the other month and month off and then we'd have a month in between to do things but let me go ahead cut up and stack all these logs and the only reason i did this is because these are going to stack nicer they're thicker rounder straighter logs and the tops get kind of gnarly and thin and goofy so these will stack nice and then when we need extra money we can you know pack up some logs and sell them and uh yeah That'll be that. So let me get all this going and done, and then I'll get back with you.
The last log added to the pile. This task is done. That is a big pile of wood. I'm honestly surprised that pile of wood hasn't just like exploded off the map. Um, all right, so on to the next task, clearing the rest of this wood. What I think we're gonna do, see if I can't hook this trailer behind the grass trailer there, the forage wagon. So I think the forage wagon has a rear hook on it. Or maybe I'll hook it in front of the forage wagon. Let's see, does the forage wagon have a rear hook? Mm, no, I'm going to say no. So, leave this right here. Park the tractor. Jump in the truck. Drop that. Turn it on. Oh, that, uh, that log trailer doesn't like to be unhooked when it's full of logs, huh? Hopefully we can still hook to it. We can line up a little bit. Hey, it actually worked. Then we should be able to hook this in line with that. There we go. All right, off to the store we go. We'll head out to the store, and then I think I'm going to borrow a larger trailer to uh, get all the rest of that wood in one go. Got our lights going. Oh, actually, while we're right here, and I'm thinking about it, let's... Do quick little fence work. Oh, come on. Don't do that. No, don't do that either. All right, here we go. Let's demolish the gate. We'll bring the fence back to like there. Go back one more. If we can't find that same fence, I know we can. Uh, get it onto it before. All right. So if we go, say there, then we throw the gate on. Oh, maybe we should build the gate first. Actually, let's, we're going to park on the road. Just because I can't back these trailers up. Sorry, guys. You're just going to have to wait a few minutes. We're parking right in your way while I do this task. All right. So if we put the fence, we put the gate. Oh, if I can find it again. There it is. All right. If we put the gate across right there. Now we have the gate. Now we can just fence to the gate. Oh, that's kind of ugly. All right, what if we don't want a little half fence in there? All right, so if we come out two full fence worse, like boom, right there. Gate. And that'll give us a little bit more room to. We go. Run over? Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. That'll give us a little more room to pull off the, um... Pull off the road. While we're opening the gate and that kind of stuff. We'll just bring this out. Plus it will, uh... What was the other thing? Oh, allow us to make that corner a little easier. I might clean this up later. The uh, I was going to show you this too. So to get rid of all that stuff like these mushrooms and grasses that don't want to go away, the way I've been doing it is if you plant plants over top of it, it changes it into that plant. 
then you go into painting. Figured somebody might be wondering about how he's doing that. If you run into that on a map, that's that's what I found. If you plant over top of it with actual plants, and then paint over top of it with a texture to get rid of those plants, it seems to work. All right, let's go to the store. Okay, we'll play a little musical chairs with the trailers here. Oop. Now maybe we only got to worry about one at a time. We can just get this on the grate. Unstrap it. And then I think it's like here. No. I just walk around this in a circle it should pop up in the corner there's a thing all right we're gonna turn it on there's a thing somewhere here to sell wood there it is it's in the corner aha no we don't need it anymore now we know where it is it's in the alcove boom three thousand four hundred dollars for the wood go ahead and plant this right there Grab our forage wagon. Do, 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 do. Wonder if I. No, because we have to. I was thinking. Wonder if I should make it so that shop stuff spawns here. But in order to do that, we'd be getting delivery fees on all the shop stuff that spawned here. But we're not going to do that. Because I don't want to pay extra fees. We had like 9,000 liters of grass or so. This was the last of the grass off of our new field. 1,500 for the grass. Park this here. Swap out to this one. Get it hooked up to that one. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these back to the to the yard, get them put away, and then drive back out to the store. And I will uh, I'll see you when we get to the store. Okay, at the store we are. So let's open this up. I just want to rent a cheap one, and I'm pretty sure we have a cheap forestry one with that one uh, really treat cheap wagon pack. Yeah, there we go. This guy will work perfect. We don't need to change anything. 3000 to buy, 170 to lease. Yes, let's borrow this for the afternoon. Shoot. Let me reset the store from last time I messed around with it. But it's back at our shop, isn't it? Aha, uh -huh. yeah. It's already there. All right. Back to the farm we go. We already paid the delivery fee, so no point in bringing it here. We'll just hook onto it when we get there.
Yeah, it would have still been here from when I had him deliver the winch. I don't have a uh, three point on the truck. Didn't want to drive the tractor all the way out there. All right, let's load up everything here. I'm just going to cut everything small enough to be able to pick it up by hand. Yep, make sure we're not on super strength or anything. So we'll just load up everything we can and go sell this. Should be, I'm going to fit it all in one, all in one trip. And that'll be our last trip to the store. And then while we're there, we can get a cedar, which can we tow that with the truck? Good question. No, this is the one I think we're going to get. It's got a three point on it. I'll we'll probably just get this delivered too, but we will, we'll take the trailer back. Or actually, you know what? We've got the cash now that we sold the old truck. I'll buy the, uh, what is it called? The, do, 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 do. It lets me tow stuff. Trail lifter. Seventy-five hundred, seven thousand. They're basically the same thing, right? That one's way lighter. Not that it much matters. Road wheels, wide tires, wide road wheels. Standard. Okay. What do you got for options? Who we can collar this one? Use weights, keep stuff from tipping. Make a John Deere with it. Make it match the rest of our stuff. For an extra thousand dollars? No thank you. Alright, yes, we'll do that when we go shopping for that. That's what we'll do. Crowd lifter and the cedar. Make sure we get seed while we're there. And then we'll come back and seed that other field. Maybe I should start putting these on here in the other direction. Oh, that one I can't pick up. This one I can. Oh, I dropped one. That's not the other direction at all. I just picked up the stick in the other direction. Well, these things are being all ugly on here. Let's not do that. Let's get you down there. Need to be able to have that turning radius. Alright, I'll go ahead and get the rest of this loaded up. And then meet you at the store. get for this three grand maybe now we know where the trigger is 
in here. Ooh, $7,434. Way better than I thought it was going to be. I guess that scrap wood really was worth bringing up here to sell. All right, let's get this to the shop. We'll return the trailer here. We'll buy ourselves a lifter. And I'm thinking I'm just going to rent the uh, cedar. Because I don't think we'll need it very much right away. We only need it for the one field right now. Put on our blinker so they know where we're going. Come on. So much traffic. Alright. Blinker off. Unhook from that. There it goes. Turn that off. Go into the store. Yes, we're back. Already. What's for sale? Nothing we want. Nothing that we can afford. Alright, return that. Yep. We want to return it. Let's... I want to buy the... Slightly more expensive one, just because I like the way this one looks. Child lifter. It's all about the aesthetic sometimes. Do, 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 cedars. We want to buy. No, we want to rent this guy. I don't care what it looks like. Track eradicators, covers. Yes, that's fine. Lease for $178. Works for me. Now we can't lease the seeds, so I guess we'll buy those. We'll just get one. That should be plenty enough for that field. Just got to make sure we empty the cedar before we return it. And that's not the orientation I figured everything would spawn in, but interesting. Go ahead and get this all hooked up. So we can hook the truck to the lifter. That's the whole purpose of the lifter. That we can hook it to the truck. And then we can hook it to things that use a three-point attachment. Do, do, do. We can hook that up. This actually also helps if you have small tractors that don't have a three-point. Not that I don't think there's really any in game. But you had if you got a little modded tractor, old style tractor. It didn't have a three point. You could hook it up to that. Rest of our seeds. We'll go ahead and cheat a little bit and put this in the back of the truck. There we go. We'll go ahead and oh, quit zooming in like that. Go ahead and get back to the fields. Put our blinkers on. Off we go. seeds in here we'll put the truck away so we might as well open the gate drive it over there Got everything else put away we've got one more task 
for the day and then this day is done we'll clean that field all up looks nice we'll jump on the tractor look up to lone cedar do, 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 do. we'll get grass planted in this field that'll be it for today Oh, we're going to need to get fuel soon. Let's go ahead and change that to grass. There we go. Gold. Turn it on. Lower it down. Oh. Tell you what, we made a decent little buck today. And what's the point of having money if you ain't gonna spend it, right? So, what I wanna do, I wanna tinker with the tractor a little bit. See if we can't get a GPS module installed. That just fits. Bring it over here where my tools are. Next to the tool shed. See if we can't put GPS on this tractor. Customize. I want to go with the wide tires anyway. There we go. Go wild. Wide tires and GPS. Fully upgraded tractor. All right, go back to seed, and now that I know we can make straight straight lines, it'll be easier to not miss little chunks. Go ahead and close this gate up. All right, let's do the thing. Oh yeah, get ourselves back over to where we were. loop okay so we turn that on and drop it down then alt c to turn on the gps control s to open the menu go auto width that's all good go lines on as dots real low we'll go heading let's try 90 see what angle that is nope that's the wrong angle control s rotate 90 nope let's try 45 okay we're getting closer 45, 52, do like 150, 160, nope, not zero, one, six, one, six, zero. hey, 160 degrees, control S to do, or alt S, to snap it to the grid, let's go.
All right, well, that's all planted now. That turned off, pulled it back up. Field, she is a planted. It only used half of the seeds that we put in here. So, go ahead and empty that right here. Bloop. We can drop the cedar. Park our tractor. We have room with our new mower. Just enough room to park it in here. Alright. Put these seeds away. Get them under cover so they're not getting all wet. Just going to return the cedar. Return. Okay. Our tasking is finally done for the day. This has been a long day. Did a lot. We cut down all them trees, dragged them over, cut them up, stacked them up. Went ahead and uh, put in a new field and planted it. Look at that stack of wood. That is a big stack of wood that we have. Firewood for the whole winter, that's for sure. But that's all the time we have for today. Next time uh, we're going to be making hay again. And I think we might get a grass roller and roll our fields so that they're a little more fertilized. We get a better yield. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. Uh, I hope you had fun. And I will see you next time. Bye.